I think that if we are citizens, and if we are citizens of conscience, to walk around carrying the label citizen of conscience requires us to act. Mm. Requires us to act in any way we can, and the most minimal way we can, is to say that we are not going to use the services. We are not going to use the goods. We are not going to purchase them. We, as employees of a firm, are not going to handle the goods produced by those of a state and exported by that state to earn its foreign income that will be spent on the drones and the bullets and the tanks, that will be spent on the university departments that train the military and the intelligence officers, that train the doctors to discover new medicines that have never been discovered before, and that happens in Israel, but also trains them how to tell whether a torture victim will die under further pressure, or whether the pressure can continue for a little bit longer so that he or she or the child can reveal who their friends are and who else can be arrested in order to be subjected to the torture. That seems to me to be the reason why we cannot stand aside. And this not standing aside is not just necessary for us to have any self-respect in the knowledge of what goes on, it's also necessary for the Palestinians to show them that when our governments declare their solidarity with Israel and their opposition to a boycott, they are not speaking for their people. Mm. Just as when our government decided to go on an illegal war in Iraq, it was not speaking for the people of this country, so when our government says it stands four square behind Israel, it's not speaking for us. The Palestinians need to know that whether by significant minority or majority, the population of Britain, of France, of the United States, does not echo the words of its government. And the second reason for the Palestinians is because they need to know that democracy doesn't simply deliver governments that ignore the wills of their people. Democracies are spaces and places where the people, when ignored, can rise up, can take into their own hands ways of carrying through their wishes, and boycott disinvestment and sanctions is one of those. That applies to Israeli academic institutions just as much as it applies to the manufacturers of oranges using the confiscated water of Palestinian lands. I urge you to vote in this election and to vote yes.